very good evening to everybody. I'm Roslan from National Society of Arboris. First of all, I'd like to thank on for the organizer, the Asia Pacific Urban Forestry Meeting, that uh, Oraya is inviting us uh, from uh, National Society of Arboris. We call it palms in the short for short terms, and um, it's a very interesting subject. The subject that I would like to present today is uh, sharing. It's not present, it's a sharing uh, approach. Is that I would like to give some approach for the best tree management practices in Malaysia. This is what happened. Uh, I'm also a proctor for ISA. Okay, this is uh, Palm Visions. Uh, we would like to be a Malaysia, in Malaysia to be a, a, a pioneer in the tropical agriculture uh, per se and mission to uplift the professionalism in the field of agriculture for various parties, for various disciplines, or the members that come from various, whoever that interested with the trees uh, activities. Uh, our base, uh, we have been based in uh, University Putra, Malaysia. They give the, the, the one of the rooms there as our office. And I think for next year, that we, we, we have our own office in Cyberjaya is one of the center, uh, town center in uh, nearby to Putrajaya, okay? Okay, today I would like to talk about um, the tree plantings. Uh, everything, everybody today is you're talking about the biodiversity, global warming, etc. you know, the heat. Uh, but uh, I would like to talk about specifically on the tree plantings, the tree maintenance, and how we want to maintain it. This is, I think this thing, this situation is happened to everywhere in the world. Okay, in Malaysia, that uh, one of the findings that tree planting have been started, I think much, much more earlier to more than hundred years ago during British colonized here. But uh, one of the documents that we receive and we can uh, take notes is uh, uh, in Selangor that we, the British, the Temple Park is one of the Sir Gary Templars is from the, British Army, they had uh, planted with one of the one of the areas, and to be part of the National Botanical Garden at the, that time, okay, 1954. And this one, this area also been uh, officially is uh, opening by this our Sultan Hashemuddin Alam Shah uh, during that time. So it means that it's been uh, recognized or been uh, supported by our. Uh, Sultan in Malaysia, in Selangor. But uh, for tree planting, in, uh, they are really started in Malaysia in 1957 by our Prime Minister, Tan Mahathir, Prime Minister number four. And uh, during that time also, uh, is very uh, involvement, I, I did involve with the KLIA Airport developments. And that particular time also, uh, during 2010, they start another programs, they uh, campaigns to plant for another 26 million trees in 2010. And then after that, on the 2015, in 2014, they, until 2019, they start with another 80 million of trees to be planted in Malaysia. And also uh, recently and currently, uh, our Ministry of Energy and Energy Resources is launched a, a, a campaign to plant 100 million trees to be planted uh, program in from 2021 until 2025, they are targeting for 100 million trees. And currently they have to go for another 81 million of trees, inclusive the urban area and also in the forest areas, inclusive all these uh, forest plantation areas. By the way, beside of these tree planting issues, also we, the, the municipal council that a local, our local municipal council, they did receive a lot of complaint about the roadside trees issues for these local authorities. This is one of the two main reasons they've been received the complaints. First is about the fallen trees. Okay, it's about the fallen trees. And second one is the old and dead trees. This is two main issues. Uh, the highest one is the fallen trees and the second one is the old and dead trees. Uh, besides of that, they, they already complain also is about the tree is too near to the residential and also disrupt the visibility. This is common common comment from the uh, from the publics and also from other uh, for other parties. Oh, this is upon the failure upon the complaints we did receive. I think Thailand also did. Do you have? 
I think Thailand or other countries, Singapore, Indonesia, they receive a lot of uh, tree failure incidents. Yes. Uh, we did have received too, it's a lot. So it's, it's involved a lot of money, life, and, um, and hassle to, the, to everybody, to the victim families, to the municipal, uh, local authorities. So they have to do something on it. They have to do something on it. We just cannot stand without doing nothing. So I did, we did, the local municipal in Malaysia also, they did a lot. They are, they, they, they are really, really packed with these uh, activities to mitigate and to reduce the numbers of tree failure in their uh, areas. But, we don't forget about tree maintenance, as we know that maintenance is to something to process to preserve the condition of that situ some situations. Okay, but in the contracts that normally in the contracts in Malaysia they have to maintain after planting they have to maintain for almost about twenty four months. This is a common common contracts, but is that enough for twenty four months of contracts? Therefore, the local authority have received their task burden to them to maintain the trees uh, after their 20, 24 months periods of maintenance periods okay before and then one of the main activities during the maintenance in Malaysia is that for the newly planted trees there is I had already segregated into a tree maintenance personnel is there who involved who want to involve with the tree maintenance must have some expertise or knowledge on certain things. And the second one is still have to produce to maintain the tree watering process. Uh, I, I, I do have to mention this because uh, we are talking about planting, we are talking about green area, we are talking about biodiversity, we are talking about a lot of things to reduce the temperature in our countries, in our areas. But this is the main things, this is the main activities how we want to maintain this, the temperature, the condition, the safety of the, to the publics after we plant the trees. We have to consider that. Therefore, there's a lot of things I have to, uh, to and, one, and one of the things that uh, for small trees, the contractor has to warranty the trees is not dying, okay? Instead of that, there is some matured tree we have to maintain also. That's why the, normally it's local municipal at all if, uh, or some uh, clients, they have to maintain about uh, one of the uncommon activity is taking or tying or cabling or bracing or do some cleaning or root collar. This is uncommon activities, but they have to do that. Checking the tree health. Now, currently is the a trend in Malaysia, especially in the big, big uh, municipal council. Uh, they did have, because they got some money there, they, there is a few incidents to make them uh, do some effort so that uh, they can uh, prolong the health of the trees on years of the trees, age of the trees, so that it can give values of, of, the, of the planted the plantable, the planted trees. Okay, one of the main activities in the, uh, in the big trees or the matured trees is the. Uh, Pruning is one of the major factor. If you fail to do the proper pruning method, it will give impact to in the future. It's not at a current in within the two years. The impact will come back. It will come to the local authorities within ten years, five years to ten years. They will come back. The effect will come back. Okay, this is a one of the mitigation uncommonly we did uh, to do in it because uh, we plant the trees, but the tree is leaning because of the wrong method. But we have to rectify or we have to remove the tree. But the clients or the owner of the house or owner of the resident don't want to remove it. So we have to rectify. So we have to understand on how we want to rectify, mitigate it and strengthen the trees to make it good. So without, uh, you know, uh, and please the, the owner of the trees to accept the, the, the standard of the existing trees. This is one of the areas my... President, my, you will be running out of time okay. pretty soon. Uh, so this is one of the main up. things. This is one thing uh, after the, we do appropriate maintenance, okay? Okay. 
And this is also another method of uh, we do some third level of assessment by using the electronics or technical and, and uh, for the three risk assessment. This is uh, one of the activities we did in uh, Kuala Lumpur uh, for the veteran trees in Kuala Lumpur after do, do some of uh, the maintenance. And uh, it comes back to after two years, you can see it's really grown as uh, in a good way. And uh, this is one of the example in Kuala Kubu Baru that uh, we do some of veteran trees. It's value at 1 million, more than 1 million, therefore, Therefore, this is our policy for our, our associations. Uh, okay, we got uh, 33, 320 members with 135 we currently certified. Uh, we use these enforcement tools to mitigate the things and we do have some of the municipal council to do some manuals, policies and standards we did to execute on the ground and some have been provided uh, by the municipal themselves. This is a manual we are helping this uh, Java, uh, department, landscape department, Malaysia. And this is the, the policy that uh, we provide. We assist, uh, we facilitate the Selangor State to provide the Selangor State tree policy. And this is all the instruments, all the tools that we use is to gain and to get a good tree stand in the future, wherever to achieve the inclusive city for our uh, tree management approach. I think that's uh, the final, uh, the, that's all for my presentation today.